Welcome to the Castlecast. I'm Chris. I'm Heather. We went to a local toy show and it was awesome. It was great. I loved it. I had so much fun buying things. I had so much fun watching you spend all of our money. I bought so many nifty items. I'm never going to eat again. I gave you your daily sandwich earlier so I could buy all my toys. Wait, what's the sandwich have to do with you buying your toys? That, because I'm, I'm making you one sandwich for your day that's really cheap. So I can spend the rest of my money on toys. That didn't make any sense to you? No. I saw where you were going, but it didn't sound like that. It you really said, didn't make any sense to I you? I gave you your sandwich so I can buy toys. I gave you your daily sandwich so I could buy toys. Meaning that I gave you a okay, sandwich keep daily. Keep, keep that in. No, I am. No, but I, keep, I give you a sandwich daily. So then I can then take the money and go buy more toys. That's what I was saying. Yeah. They get it, don't you? Shake your head if you got that. No, no. Uh, I'm not talking to you. I was talking to them. I'm showing you what they are saying. <laughs> so every time we go to this toy show, which is in Timonia, Maryland, Heather, I like to buy wacky wobblers because there's a guy there with a really cool table full of wacky wobblers, and typically he brings new ones that I've never seen and or do not have. The thing and the lizard. I know. And now I have the thing and I also have Johnny Storm, the human torch. Do you know who that is? You don't yeah, know who that. Is. Do you? Fantastic 4. So I had now have the Fantastic 2. Now all I need is Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman, but I don't think they make those. Yes, and they do. What, what, they do? Yes, they do. They make them in Wobbler form? Yes. Get out of here. They do. Get right on out of town. No, really, don't go. I'll make one promise to you right now that wasn't included in my wedding vows. What's that? I'll never tell you to get out of town again. You will. <laughs> and I also got this lizard. He's a Spider-Man villain. And you know how much I love Spider-Man and his villains. Dr. Octopus, Green Goblin, which Stop I have. Stop acting like you like the lizard. you don't like. I love him. What are you talking about? You know what? Get out of town. Ah. Broke my vows already. <laughs> these two guys are awesome. I love them. I do not unbox these guys. I don't like to destroy the boxes because they're so old. And I'm afraid I'm going to tear them up by opening them. You probably would because you break a lot of things. This one is in perfect condition. This one's very damaged. Did you know it? You want to hold it? It's not really damaged. It's more worn. So I like the old school Funko, which is why I was there. I went to another table and I got this guy. Trix Rabbit. Wow, he would go perfectly with the Trix Rabbits that we traded a while back. He would. Yeah, too bad you didn't keep those. I hurt myself today. So what's cool about this guy versus this guy, his head wobbles, but his body wobbles, see? I like that. See how he's shaking in there? Like a salt shaker, as the Yin Yang twins would say. Salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. It's uncanny. It sounds like I just turned the radio on. What is your favorite out of my three wacky wobblers that I picked up? I think the lizard is my favorite because I like his colors. Can you give me your best wacky wobbler, like like what your head would do? Yeah, you're right. I should have never asked. <laughs> I never said that. I know. <laughs> and Heather, the moment we've been waiting for, I found a grail out of box, which you told me. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't. You whispered a lot because the guy was right next to us. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do this. And I said, but I really want to do this. I wouldn't do this. But I did it anyway. And I got this guy. Wow. It's a Toy Story alien. Don't you feel so stupid now? No. Because now I have him. He's awesome. He is awesome, but I just didn't like. I just didn't like that he doesn't have the base he's supposed to have. You must feel so silly. Thank you for getting him for my collection. I did. How did you know I was getting this for you as a Aww. gift? Isn't that cool? That's so cool. I wish he had a stand. This guy's cool. He now, he cool. doesn't have a stand. He doesn't have a box. And when I got him, he had marks all over him. Mm -hmm. But guess what? What? I took a magic eraser to him and I fixed him. And he looks fantastic. He looks brand new. He Good as new. Huh? So this guy goes for 130 buckaroo dollars. Buckaroo dollars, okay. On the Funko app. Mm -hmm. I got him for, ready? 
35 buckaroo bonsais. How do you like that? Wow! Did I make out like a bandit or you what? Did. I didn't at all. Yeah, he should have a stand. He should have a stand. But that's okay. I like him. For $35, I th thought that was cool. We yeah. just saw the new Toy Story film. And I was like, that's cool to get this guy. He was like, he was sort of like in the back. And the, and the problem with that table was I picked up a couple of them. They had like a Halo Pop that's like older. They had this. And I picked them up and I was like, hey, how much for these? Oh, yeah, those are expensive ones. And he turned to his wife and he's like, how much are these? F I think $50. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I might do that. But I was like $5 short. I turned to you and you wanted no parts of that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, uh, well, how much just for the alien? And that's when he said 35 Coming back home, I think it would have been a better deal if I just dropped the extra couple bucks to get both. It was extra $15 for the other pop. But I don't know what I would have done with the other pop anyway. I don't collect Halo. I feel like I made a good buy even though you don't agree with me. He's cool. You can put him on your desk now. I that never, we showed him. I never said that I didn't agree with you. I Go just ahead. said I Here, don't like that he ahead. doesn't have Go a ahead. base. You can put him on your desk now. Thank you. Okay. How's he going to see him without a base? And the last item that I wanted to show that did not come from the toy show. It came from our good pal... Jason Swoboda. Oh, isn't he from that podcast? Which one, Heather? There's a lot of podcasts out there. Heroic Nonsense? Available on Anchor, Spotify, iTunes, every everywhere? He brought me something really awesome. A bag full of hot mustard from McDonald's? No, he brought me this red fink. Isn't it awesome? Oh, it's okay. Not as good as a hot mustard, but he'll do. I think this guy's awesome. I'm so... So excited for the Rat Fink Pops that are coming out from Toy Tokyo, STCC 2019. But the fact that he brought this to me is so awesome. It is. He's really cool looking. I personally love Rat Fink a lot. And the fact that he thought about me and brought this over is really special. Now, it actually came in a protector for a Wacky Wobbler that I've, I've never seen a protector before. But he told me he actually only had, I think, two of these. And he gave me one of the two that he owned. And I thought that was super, super cool. So, Jason, if you're watching, thank you for this. You are awesome, yes. Awesome. I love that guy. Me too. I love that podcast that he's on. With those two, did you hear about it? There are these two nerdy people on there. Nobody likes them. I think they're sort of cool. You do? Yeah. Mm. I don't like them. The girl sounds like she would be really pretty. The guy looks like a lumpy bag of peanuts. <laughs> you know, I used to have a pet squirrel and I fed him peanuts. Did you really? Mm -hmm. His name was Mr. Eddie. <clears throat> really? Mm -hmm. Guys, what do you think about all the pickups that we got at the toy show and from Jason Soboda? Let us know in the comment section down below. What do you think that your, your squirrel would think about all this? What do you think this is kind of cool? He would think you're kind of cool since you look like a bag of lumpy peanuts. <laughs> I'm going potatoes. Thanks. You said What do you call me, fat? No, you look like peanuts. <laughs> Let us know what you think about all this and more in the comment section down below. Hey! Do you like when I do that? No. <laughs> Remember to go over to alltimetoys.com and check out all the fun stuff that they have to offer over there. They have every toy that you can think of. They have old toys. They have Marvel Legends, they have Hot Toys, they have NECA, they have Lego, they have everything. Go over and check out AllTimeToys.com. Also, head over to ShoeMeStore.com, use promo code WeHuntTogether for 10% off your order. As always, remember, WE HUNT TOGETHER, YES! We will catch you next time! Bye! We hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Gasocast. If so, please hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other fun content. We've left you some links to some of our other videos that we thought you might like. We'll catch you next time. Bye.